Good morning, you guys. I am so freaking tired right now. Um, This is the thing you wear over your eyes while you sleep, by the way, because I know people are probably going to be asking me what this is. But basically, today is going to be another day in my life. I'm up super early today, and I'm never up early. I usually don't even wake up until like 12 in the afternoon. But I have a lot going on today, so I have an appointment at the spa for a facial, Botox, and M sculpt on my butt. And then I'm going to be looking at properties today. So for those of you who have been following me for a while, I've been talking about that I want to invest in real estate. And that's something I really want to get into. So today I'm like taking the first step and I'm actually going to tour some properties. And I also need to go grocery shopping because I have like no food in my house. So I'm going to get up right now, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then go to the spa. So if you want to see a day in my life, then keep watching. Okay, you guys, so my day just begins at Aspala. The first thing that I'm getting done at the spa is M Sculpt. I'm getting it done on my butt. If you've never heard of M Sculpt, it's basically just like working out, but literally you're not doing anything. You're just sitting there and the machine is working out for you. It just contracts your muscles, and this is equivalent to doing like a thousand squats. I'm gonna unmute it so you guys can hear how the machine sounds and see what it does. to the next part of my spa appointment i'm just getting preventative botox this is just to prevent wrinkles in the future and i'm not making that mad face because it hurts i have to make that face so that the injector knows where to inject the botox at next she's going to tell me to lift my eyebrows so that she can see where in my forehead she needs to inject the botox to prevent wrinkles the last part of my spa day is just to get a facial so i am getting a hydro facial Aspala does have a bunch of different types of facials that you can pick from. I personally just like the Hydro Facial because I feel like it's really good for acne prone skin, which I definitely have. I also love getting facials just because they're super relaxing, but I will leave Aspala's information down in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. They do lip fillers, Botox, face fillers, facials, spray tans, M sculpt. They do a whole bunch of different stuff. They even do plastic surgery, so I would definitely check them out. Lastly, I'm just doing this light for my acne it's supposed to help with redness and just your acne in general and then after that i just went on a quick target run because i needed groceries for the house and then i went home okay you guys we just got home so we are putting all the groceries away and then we're gonna make breakfast because i am starving so for breakfast, I'm just going to make myself a quick fruit salad. I'm actually going to make a huge fruit salad with all of the fruit and then just put it in this big container and keep it in the fridge so that I can eat it throughout the week because I am way too lazy to cut up a fruit salad every single time that I want to eat one. So I found that it's way easier just to put all the fruit in one big thing and cut it up and just have it in this thing ready to eat so that anytime throughout the week, if I'm lazy or I just want to grab some, it's already ready to go. So I'm just cutting up all the fruit and getting it i'm just putting watermelon raspberries and strawberries and then i'm getting my teamy drink ready okay you guys i'm just eating my little breakfast right now and then i'm drinking my teamy if you guys have been watching my day in my life vlogs i've done the teamy detox a couple times now i really like it because it works really good with busy schedules and as you guys know when you watch my day in my life i'm usually always running errands and i'm always on the move like after this i'm actually going to tour some properties so I'm just going to take my tea meat with me and drink it while I'm there if I don't finish it now. And I also like that the little leaves inside of here hold their flavor for a long time. So I can literally just fill it up with water and it'll still have the flavor. And it's super easy. It's just two really quick steps. So you do this tea every single morning and then this tea every evening. And then it's a 30-day detox. It's funny because I got like every single person in my house addicted to the tea meat. And then when I went to Cabo a few weeks ago, my friend was staying here. And she was like using my gym downstairs and she started doing the tea meet and she only did it for a week and she literally went and ordered her own because she loved it so much and she said like she felt actually really cleansed after only one week so i would definitely recommend tea meet if you guys are looking for a really good detox this is not a quick fix it is going to take like 30 days for the entire detox to be done with but it does help your gut health and a lot of people tend to like neglect that especially if you have busy schedules and you're not like focusing on detoxing your body because i feel like i'm really guilty of that like a lot of times i'll be like i'm gonna eat this and then i'll end up like ordering out so at least i know if i'm doing my detox in the morning and the night it's like kind of making me less bloated and things like that so if you guys do want to check out team me i do have a code i will put it on the screen here and i will also have it linked down below if you guys want to check out the team detox 
But yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna finish eating right now and then I'm gonna get ready because I have to go see the houses. Sorry I didn't record myself getting ready. I was in such a rush and I didn't wanna be late to look at the properties. But this is the first building that we looked at. This one was located in Chicago and it's a two unit building. So the unit on the upper level is two bedrooms and two baths and it's up there and then the unit on the main level is three bedrooms and three baths i really like this building because it's completely renovated and move-in ready so if you were to buy this building you wouldn't have to do anything to it you can literally just start renting it out right away and making money and now we're gonna go look at the upstairs unit so this is the smaller unit with the two bedrooms and two baths if i were to buy this building i'd probably just like live up here for free and then rent the other one out downstairs and just have the mortgage pay for itself but it is super cute as you can see it's completely redone and the bathrooms are really nice i like the kitchen it's open concept and then back here is just the master bedroom it looks like this now moving on to the second building that we looked at, this building actually had three units, so obviously with more units there's more room to make money, but this building is not completely renovated yet. They started working on this unit, but they didn't do the other two units, so if you got this one, it would definitely need some work and you would have to do some renovations, but it has two two-bedroom units and then the basement, it's a one-bedroom unit, and then you would just have to do some like TLC inside the house. Remember, it's going to be work, right? Yes. This is, uh, but this is what we call lipstick surgery because you're not, you're not going to tear down the bedrooms and make it all, you know, small, bigger bedrooms because you have really good sized bedrooms. You could definitely fit like a, a queen, if not a king in there. Right. And then your tenants are going to have good space. Yes. You wanted to break into that and put, you know, washer and dryer if you wanted to, or like I said, in the basement with coins. Now we're moving to the upstairs unit. That unit is also two bedrooms and one bath, like the middle unit we just looked at, except this unit up here is not renovated at all. So there's not new flooring, there's no new appliances, and the kitchen is super outdated. So if you were to buy this building, that's something that you would have to think about as a buyer. Something like this excites me because um, this is a really nice size kitchen. And you're probably going to spend about, you know, $2,500 in cabinetry. I will knock down the soffit and run some really nice 60-inch cabinets here. Do a backsplash and then do a quartz. Get rid of the cabinetry. It's not going to be that expensive and now you have a brand new kitchen. And of course, washer and dryer. I'm sorry, dishwasher because everybody wants a dishwasher. Yeah. I like the fact that you're getting really good light coming in from the outside. And yeah. your tennis will um, have like a nice yard and then you can charge people for a parking space or in, inside the garage. You'll make more money. Optimize the rental yield. You can leave it like heat like this, but you're not going to collect this much rent as if you did a nice Yeah, definitely I would want it to be more modern. Yeah. And it feels better when you're a landlord of that property. Yeah. If you don't do it now, you'll do it later. I also want it, if they could want it, so they could do a breakfast bar here or you could put a little table. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the size of these bedrooms. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and they have. Wow, um, it's very wow, spacious. It. Very spacious, yes. Things you could do to um, jazz it up. Obviously, this one's going to need a gut rehab because you're going to take down the tile. It is really difficult to pull tile without ripping the wall. So, you're going to get uh, green board, which is the drywall that you use for uh, rehabbing bathrooms. Now, we're moving down to the third and final unit. The unit all the way in the basement is the smallest of the three units. This one's only a one bedroom because the other half of the basement is like for the washer and dryer and stuff like that. Okay, so this is where your utilities are. So you can have your washer and dryer. Remember, you want to do a washer and dryer that's coin operated because that's going to subsidize the, uh, the cost of your water. That's your water main service. And here you have your sump pump. So, um, you want to make sure that that's closed because otherwise we're going to have to do a radon inspection. Radon is a gas that's in the soil and sometimes if the radon levels are too high it can cause cancer or lung disease. So uh, your inspector is probably going to advise you to do a radon inspection. They usually run around $300 okay. right? or $400 but it's, it's, yes, worth it, yeah. it's worth it because you're going to have families living down here. So you can have storage closets in here and charge, you know, just give them that flexibility and again put washer and dryers here that are coin operated. It's a good, good space. And here's the other unit. Somewhat of a same floor plan, but they darken the floors here. So 
this was the third and final unit in this building, the basement unit with one bedroom. The units are pretty nice and spacious. As you can see, I'd probably just have to redo this kitchen and then the tile in the kitchen, and then I'd redo the bathroom in this unit as well. But other than that, it's actually really nice and it doesn't need that many changes. It's more just like cosmetic things that need to be done. But if I were to get a building like this, I'd also have to get an inspector because they'd have to check the outside of the building as well. Because although it might look good on the inside, you never know what's wrong with the outside until you actually get an inspector and you look into it. But this was a really good first day looking at properties. I looked at two completely different properties and I feel like I learned a lot. So I'm super excited. Okay, you guys, I just got home from looking at the properties and I stopped and got some Jimmy John's because I was super hungry and I didn't feel like cooking at home because I just wanted to eat really quick. But I literally just dropped my packages off at the post office and then I checked my P.O. box for the first time and then I went to the properties and now I'm eating. So I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm done eating. Okay, you guys, it is like 9.30 at night now and I am super tired. So basically, I'm just chilling here drinking my teamy tea. This is the nighttime tea, like the colon part of the detox. So this is what the tea looks like. I just made the tea and I'm kind of just waiting for it to cool off because sometimes I drink it too soon and it burns my tongue. So I'm just waiting for my tea to cool off. But I love drinking tea at night because I feel like it just makes me feel like warm and good before bed. Also, I wanted to show you guys. So I recently opened a P.O. box. I have my P.O. box information um, on my bio and my Instagram. So I'll leave my Instagram links down below and I'll also link my PO box too if you guys wanna send me stuff. But this was my first time checking my PO box and I actually got a package in there from a fan. So I wanted to show it to you guys and I'm super excited. So basically she just wrote me a long letter. It's super cute. I love this letter so much. Basically just saying that I'm an inspiration to her and all that. So I really love this. Shout out to you, Gabriella. I got your letter and it is so cute. I love you. Um, I will leave the Instagram down below, but it's called SMG Creations and much more. This is what her card looks like. Like I said, I'll leave the Instagram to this business down below. And then I want to show you guys what she sent me. So basically, she sent me a bunch of these super cute masks. I am obsessed with these face masks. These literally remind me of the face masks that Young Pole Master wore in the video that we filmed together. And these masks are perfect for anyone, but they honestly kind of remind me of like the perfect strip club mask because at the strip clubs, you do have to wear face masks right now. So these are literally perfect for in the club. You can match them up with your outfits. She sent me so many different colors. So I'm honestly so excited just to wear these out in life, but you can also wear them at the club because they're all bedazzled. Look at how cute these are, you guys. And they're super comfortable and breathable. I'm actually obsessed. I love the diamonds. So this one is like a foresty green type of color. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a green. And then she made me a purple one. Here, I'm just going to show all of them to you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so she made me this super cute purple color. I'm just going to show you guys. And I really like this elastic part. It's super comfortable because sometimes some masks like hurt my ears. So, you guys, these are everything. I am obsessed. And then she sent a black one. And then this red one. Oh, this is perfect for Valentine's Day. <gasps> yes, I love this. I'll probably take a picture in this for Valentine's Day with like a dress or something. Okay, I actually love the red one. That's probably my favorite one. And then this like burgundy maroon color. And then last but not least, this blue color. So these masks are super cute. I will leave her Instagram down below to her business if you guys want to order from her. It says smg creations and more so i'm actually excited to check out her instagram and see what else she makes because i love little custom stuff like this i think it's super cute especially because it looks like it's handmade and it looks like it's really good quality so i like these masks a lot i'm gonna leave it down below but i also wanted to do a video opening stuff from small businesses because since i opened my tina v dancewear and that is a small business i have realized like how much work it is packing orders every day and trying to advertise yourself and i feel like I'm lucky that I have like such a big following on Instagram and YouTube, so I'm able to promote myself. But I know a lot of other small businesses might not have the luxury of having such a big following to promote their brand. So I wanted to do a video where you guys send stuff to my P.O. box. I'll put like my P.O. box 
address here or I'll link it down below. But if you are a small business and you guys want me to advertise for you, because people always DM me like, do I do paid sponsorships on my Instagram? And I don't really do those. So I would love to do this video for free for you guys. If you have a small business, any little type of business you have, if you make candy, if you sold things, like whatever you guys do, definitely send it to my PO box. And I want to film a video just opening it and like showing your guys' business cards and showing the products you guys send me. So if you want to send me something from your small business, I am going to be filming a video like that. So try to send it to me soon within like the next like few weeks. I'll probably film it at the end of February. But yeah, I would love to do that just to help, you know, people hear about your business because I feel like it is kind of hard to get the word out. And I know small businesses work really, really hard. So I'm excited to see what you guys send me. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm super excited to keep you guys updated on my real estate journey and my rental properties and just like my life in general i love how supportive you guys are of everything that i do i love you guys so so much again if you guys want to try teamy i do have a code christina20 for 20 percent off of your teamy purchase so if you want to get a good detox in i would definitely check out teamy i will have that linked down below as well but i hope you guys liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you